What is something that people get wrong about your line of work? Radio announcer. We don't pick the music we play. It's decided by a committee of middle management, and then the final playlist is put together by a person called the music director. It's all fed straight into our computers, and all we have to do is press play. Then we can go back to dicking around on Reddit. Also, dicking around on Reddit is called show prep. Edit, I'm seeing a general theme in the questions. The quick answer, yes, we can swap out a song or two. But we do it too many times and management comes down on us. Specific example, request shows. Probably only two or three songs are legit requests. Better announcers than me will talk you into requesting something that's coming up on the playlist. If we say a request is texted and or was tweeted to the station, there's a 99% chance we made it up. Programmer, I don't fix computers, I break them. Being IT and having to deal with programmers I can verify that statement. I'm a sheet metal worker and everyone assumes I just make dust bands and toolboxes out of checker plate. That's not true sometimes I make bins. Also a sheet metal worker. Since I work in a shop most people assume I work in a line getting minimum wage. But you're actually getting aluminum wage, right? Right? Software testers often get blamed if released software is buggy. Often we knew about the bug before the release and some jackass above us decided that the business needs warranted releasing it anyway. Why do we have so many bugs if we scheduled all this time to test? Because you didn't schedule any time to rework the product and actually fix them. We don't draw our 3D animations. I really want to know. Which software do you use? And what's the first easy step to learn? As a chemist I don't spend my day doing random crazy experiments and nothing ever explodes. My job is generally very repetitive day in and day out. And no I can't just start making meth. And no I'm not gonna tell you how either. Materials scientist, sometimes things explode, but we would really prefer they don't. And it's usually too high pressure in glass tubes, not explosive reactions. A surprisingly large number of people seem to think that librarians spend most of their work hours reading. My mom was a school librarian and actually hated reading. She did not start to enjoy reading until she retired. Most of her time was spent babysitting students, hosting study halls, keeping kids from trying to look up porn on the computers and keeping everyone quiet. People don't get anything wrong about my job, because hardly anyone thinks about my job and likely less know that we exist. I flip rail switches to make sure trains go in the right direction and signal the train that it is, indeed, good to go. Most people I talk to seem to think it's a fully automated system. While true for some areas, there are still a lot of stations like mine, with fully analog operation. But what if the train is going to hit two people unless you move it so it will only hit one? Do you pull the lever? The vast majority of social workers aren't involved with child protective services. We work in hospitals, nursing homes, shelters, schools, and all sorts of places, trying to connect people to the resources they need. Many of us also provide counseling. On medical shows, whenever there's a plot line involving a doctor who is worried about where a patient will go after discharge, the writers cut out the entire social work department, or case management department, to add drama. We know about your porn folder. We know about your nudes folder and your gore folder. We know about your midget porn browser history and we know that you googled the difference between your and your last Tuesday even though you're 35. We don't give a duck. We have seen it all. Our job is to fix your computer and give it back. We don't look through your personal files. We don't get paid for that shit. Don't fret too much. What you have on your PC is probably way milder than some of the desktop backgrounds I've seen. You actually need empathy to work in sales. You need to understand other people. You don't have to lie and be a psychopath. Being an actual nice person helps a lot. Connecting with the client is a real thing. You can't effectively sell if you don't know your product, but it's even worse if you can't feel out what your customer actually wants. I used to manage a jewelry store and can still remember all the times lonely elderly people would come into my store just to chat with my girls, they'd usually leave with something that nobody coerced them to buy. Voice Actor When I book a job with Pizza Hut, no, I do not get paid with pizza. Nor any company's product for any job. It's just money. That's how this works. People generally have weird ideas of what it means to work in entertainment. 
like movie sets can actually be quite boring when you realize you're standing around a lot with all these weird lights and overtired crew members. I'm not actually a professor, I'm an instructor. And I get paid peanuts. Actually, I haven't been paid yet this semester. Not until the end of the month. Yay adjuncting. First paid day for new hires is always four weeks in. Despite having taught here for five years, we're still new hires every time. The modern university system assumes that if you have a PhD in your area, you're competent to teach it, despite the fact that you've taken no formal instruction in education. Nope. Explains a lot though, am I right? Hell yes. So many profs don't know anything about teaching and then wonder why their class average is low. Astrophysicist. Equals astrology. I am not going to tell you your star sign. It's bollocks. I don't know what star that is. I don't on slash use a telescope or work at night. I'm a theorist. I work at a desk with a computer like any other office person. Researcher. Equals genius. I have spent a decade researching one narrower and narrower topic. I do not know everything about space slash physics slash fixing any machine you own slash Elon Musk. Don't ask me about string theory, God, or Brian ducking Cox. Just because I work in a hospital, doesn't mean I know what that rash is. On rotation I was wearing a shirt and tie and name badge, coming out of the entrance to the ER, about 10 p.m. in the winter, so, it was dark, and these two guys start running at me from across the street. Okay, this is where I die. But all they wanted to know was hey doc, does this look swole to you? And held up his arm. That you need to be really good at math to be an accountant. You must be good at math. No, but Excel is. Engineer, I don't drive a train. Your name kinda looks like a train though. Skilled trades jobs aren't for everyone. There's a narrative right now that not everyone should go to college, so they should be welders or plumbers or electricians. Those jobs are hard, man. They take training and work and dedication just like any career, if you want to make it work and get to the top. Tradesmen aren't people who failed to go to college, or who couldn't hack it in school. They're highly educated professionals who have their own skill set. College isn't for everyone, but neither are the trades. Being a line cook isn't like cooking at home, or like being a chef on TV. It's stressful and gritty, you don't get paid enough and the hours are brutal. And if you don't know how to deal with hearing people talk shit, or know how to talk shit back you're in for a rough time. Also no one is gonna spit in your food. Bartender here. A good crew of cooks makes my life so much easier. You guys rock. Yeah and that beer you don't ring up at the end of the night makes everything better haha. That I give a shit about what you are doing on your private land. I just wanna check the creek to monitor remediation efforts of abandoned industrial facilities or mine pollution upstream. I don't care about your shitty dirt patch horse pen or those abandoned cars in your backyard. I might point out leaking oil or suggest adding a buffer zone if you're worried about your bank eroding, but I have bigger fish to fry. Really not going to give you any problems. EPA field worker? That nursing is some noble profession where we are angels to all of our patients. It's actually extremely violent and the majority of patients are assholes. I'm a little burnt out if you can't tell. People assume that because I'm a programmer I know how to fix any piece of tech they own. That's IT's job. I make new software they fix the existing stuff, and the tech I use is probably very different to what you use so I've got no idea what these devices even do. Zookeeper. I can't tell you how many times I've been working in an exhibit, read, cleaning poop and old food, and heard a parent tell their kids, that's why you need an education, so you don't have to do awful work like that. Bitch. I've got a degree in advanced training, I've served on various boards of professional societies. I'm a published author of multiple professional articles. I like animals and hate people. Shut. The. Duck. Up. Okay but what's your favorite animal? Dental hygienist. A lot of people think that we enjoy hurting people. The amount of times I hear I don't want to be here. You're just going to hurt me. I hate you and a day is starting to get to me. The last time I got my teeth cleaned, the hygienist was joking about that and I said it's better than my teeth rotting out. No, I cannot build or repair your broken tractor trailer drive shaft while I wait. At a bare minimum on a good day you are looking at a couple of hours and that doesn't include the people ahead of you. Why? It's just a few bolts and pop the new one in. 
What are you trying to pull on me? I could do this myself in probably 20 minutes and you just told me it was going to cost how much? For how long? I'm calling the police, you're ripping me off. Working as a vet nurse people think all I deal with all day are cute kittens and puppies, I guess that can be an upside occasionally but for the most part it's having to see sick and ill animals, watching animals pass away from either getting euthanized or for other medical reasons. This is all followed by having to deal with pets that only want to bite or scratch you and clients that are extremely rude. I love the satisfaction I received from my job but my perspective had changed on it immensely when I started. This is what most people get wrong. Not everyone in IT knows everything there is to know about your iPhone. We probably can't tell you why it's running slow. Source, I'm a software developer and know nothing about iPhones but get asked constantly. How many programmers does it take to change a light bulb? Who gives a shit, it's a hardware problem. But I probably can tell you why your computer's cup holder is broken. Graphic designer. People think all I do is draw pictures on the computer all day and since I love what I do, I should be fine with working for free slash low pay because enjoyment magically pays my bills. I do not do the set design, I simply paint whatever is necessary, painting, backdrop, wall, chair, I don't care. I work for a security company, and do security at an unrelated company. Everyone assumes that I carry some safety equipment and that I get to chase down the bad guys and tackle them. Wrong. Security is largely a customer service job. Security is also a presence thing. I do not carry anything, except for a set of keys and sometimes a flashlight. I am not allowed to chase or make contact with anyone. I monitor temperatures and meters. I am the fire protection. I am, in a sense, a first responder. I get chased by wild animals. I write a report during my shift that says that I walked around the site four times. I call 911 when I need to. I am not a cop. I have zero power. I cannot chase the bad guys off the property. I cannot hit them with anything. I am not allowed to carry pepper spray. And also, I am a girl and I can stand up for myself. Mind you, I'm the only girl security at my site, but we are here. I can hold my own and know when a situation is unsafe. People need to quit telling me that I shouldn't be working alone overnight because I'm a girl. I'm in management now at a corporate company. I can't just make changes at the snap of a finger. It's a lot more difficult, for a reason, to make changes. I love working at a smaller, growing company. I can make changes and have them actually be implemented. In fact, I have to, since we're finding places where we've outgrown or found holes in our existing processes almost daily. It's a big reason I take a smaller salary, plus share options that might be worth a lot or nothing, to not be at a large company. Professional Woodworker. It's mostly sanding. GMOs are totally safe. The science has backed them time and time again. There is absolutely nothing wrong with eating genetically modified food. It takes over a decade for a genetically modified crop to be approved by the FDA for commercial use. The regulations are on par with those for drugs slash medicine. Also, only about 7 or 10 crops are grown for consumption that have been genetically modified. There is no such thing as GMO oranges, or GMO cherries, or 90% of the stuff labeled GMO free because nobody is modifying what's in that. Corn, soy, cotton, canola are the main ones. Some sugar beets, alfalfa, and apples too. Other countries might still do something different. Teacher don't like seeing students suffer. At least not academically. People think athletic trainers are personal trainers or coaches. I always describe it as a cross between an EMT and a physical therapist. Much much different. I thought trainers were a shoe. Oh hi England. Bouncer on Friday and Saturday nights. I've seen people on Reddit bitch and moan about bouncers. After doing it for 8 months now. I'm sure 99% of incidents are the result of people politely being asked to leave numerous times, cause you know, we're closing, but for some reason they don't even move toward the exit. Of course someone's going to start being a dick. Just because I manage a bunch of guys that work the pole doesn't mean I work at a gay strip club. Electric company lineman? Pool cleaners. Firefighter. All of people see us as sitting in recliners all day being fat and that may be the case in some areas but for the most part, we're training, working out, taking EMS and fire runs all day and night so yeah, 
Recliner time is nice when you've been up all night dealing with any number of things. Respect to all firemen, I know how much stress that can be, you are one of the most important people to keep a city alive and healthy. Thank you. Hotel Concierge. I don't arrange drugs or prostitutes for guests. Store Greeter. People assume we are security but how the duck you supposed to steal something when you're entering the store? We're there because people have low self-esteem and a need to feel welcomed when they enter an establishment, like those old mom and pop stores in the courthouse square we ran out of business. I mean, you're kind of both. Been explained to me by one of my store's greeters. Your mere presence deters a lot of would-be thieves. That the modern advertising industry is anything like Mad Men. No, I can't just go back there and grab your medication real quick. No I am not withholding your prescription to call your doctor because you're black slash hispanic slash asian slash gay slash straight slash in a wheelchair slash bullying you because I can, I'd just like to keep my license thank you. No we can give you your two medications that have drug interactions with each other just because well the doctor wrote it so give it to me, again we'd like to keep our licenses and cover our asses in case something happens it's documented your doctor was aware and is okay giving you this. Yes, I understand you're in pain slash depression slash going on vacation slash anxious slash have the shits, and yes I'm going as fast as four co-workers can but all 300 scripts in front of yours are also important, and 15 minutes is as fast I can go for your three prescriptions. No I don't control the prices your insurance sent us as a copay, you'd have to call your insurance on that issue I'm not pocketing money prescripts sold here. I could go on but it's my day off and I'm trying to avoid migraines today. Sales no, I can't give you a deal on that, you can't have it for free, no I can't change the price for you, I don't know why that item isn't in, I don't do the ducking orders. I own my own business. People tend to think all business owners are rich. No, I am dirt poor, I am not sure if I'll be able to pay rent next month in my tiny studio and may lose my car soon. Working from home is much harder than it seems. I work more than 12 hours a day. I don't get to take vacations whenever I want. I'm a one-man company so it gets very lonely. Thanks for listening to another episode of Reddit X. Subscribe and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any stories. Feel free to share your own stories below in the comments. Have a good day.